Manoj from Plotch. Uh, I hope you are having a great day here. Uh, today basically is a very interesting, uh, you know, topic of, you know, discussion here. Um, this is something uh, I think we all have been waiting for, um, you know, in, uh, from, a, uh, from ONDC perspective, you know, the category of fashion. You know, fashion, uh, it's one of the largest category in e-commerce. And, uh, you know, uh, it's something that uh, has a lot of impact in e-commerce. It is a category which touches a lot of people. 70% of shipments in, in India more or less have fashion uh, as an item, right? So very, very important category. Also today I have Badri with me. Uh, he is a uh, vice president in ONDC. So today, you know, uh, some bit you will listen to me, but a lot of things you will listen from Badri, uh, inside scoops from, in, from ONDC, what's happening in fashion in ONDC, uh, and uh, any questions you have about fashion as a category, any questions about ONDC, any, you know, question you have about how to become part of ONDC, you know, how does that impact you? You know, any nuances, anything, even the simplest of the question you have, please ask. We are here to answer as many questions as possible. You know, I represent Plotch. Plotch is a technology service provider in ONDC. So we have implemented buyer and seller apps in ONDC. Uh, uh, so we know a lot of uh, insights from technology point of view, and uh, and uh, Badri can tell you a lot about operations, uh, you know, uh, from on in you know, ONDC perspective, right? So, so so we we wanted this to be very, you know, I would say uh, 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 useful for you from a participation point of view. Uh, make use of this session this is not a discourse this is not a you know a single you know discourse from our side to you please ask as many questions we'll be happy to answer hey now, good, evening. good evening thank you manoj for having me here uh, good evening everyone uh, definitely manoj has uh, raised the bar manoj uh, before we start you need to again help me with the video oh and sorry uh, yeah. the video has Can you try now? Sorry, everybody, I sort, sort of missed that. Let me try. Yeah. Okay, great. I believe I'm visible. Yeah, I guess. Okay, now you're there. <laughs> that. So very good evening, everyone. And thanks, Manoj, for having me here. Manoj has already raised the bar uh, of potential understanding about ONDC and how fashion is going to have a play here. We both will put our best to make you understand. Nevertheless, uh, at the end of the session, if any question which will be unanswered or in your mind, you can email us uh, on that email ID that is going to be shown at the end of the session. So if we have uh, a right time now, we, we should start the session, Manu. No, no, definitely the right time. I think... Uh... Some people are still joining, but uh, you can start. Uh, so this session, uh, I'll quickly take you through, uh, you know, since a lot of people in this session, you know, previous sessions I've found, don't know a lot about ONDC and there are a few questions about ONDC, what is ONDC, you know, how does it impact and those kind of stuff. So I'm gonna take a few, uh, few slides just to take you through what ONDC is, uh, how does it impact um, you uh, as a businessman, as a business owner or a technology service provider or whatever role you're looking to play in ONDC. Uh, and, you know, the, you know, the architecture of ONDC, um, you know, uh, once you understand the architecture of ONDC, you will be able to understand the role that you can play in ONDC because there are multiple roles you can play. Uh, it's important to, for you to identify, you know, what is role is best for you. Uh, and, uh, you know, with that, I'll start, uh, I'll quickly tell you what Plotch, Plotch is an e-commerce ERP, you know, we have thousand plus features, 
um, we started about three years back uh, and ONDC is one of the things that we thought is up our alley. Uh, and uh, we are the leading technology service providers in ONDC right now. Uh, ONDC, uh, as you may know, is open network for digital commerce. These four words actually tell a lot about ONDC. Uh, first thing is open. You know, everyone can participate. You know, it's, it's, it's not for big guys. It's not just for small guys. It's not for people in metro only. It's not for someone uh, in, you know, fashion or electronics, right? It's for everyone. It's basically, uh, that's the powerful part of ONDC. Um, and, uh, and uh, you know, whether you talk about location, you know, it, it, it's, it's location agnostic. It basically, it's for rural India, it's for urban India, it's for metros, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's for tier two, tier three. Uh, it's category agnostic, which means all categories are supported here. Uh, of course, uh, ONDC started with F&B and grocery as the first few categories, uh, and now getting into fashion and beauty and electronics. Um, but from an architecture perspective, it's completely category agnostic. So anyone can participate. It's business model agnostic. Which means if you're a B2C business, if you're a D2C business, if you're a marketplace business, if you're a local retailer, whoever you are, you know, you can participate in ONDC. Uh, so so uh, that's the pow power of ONDC. Uh, it's an initiative, of course, by government of India. Uh, it is a population scale network, uh, which means uh, each and every city of the country is, expect is expected to be impacted by this. And, um, uh, you know, it's been in media a lot. Uh, you might have heard about ONDC uh, in multiple segments. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that. Now, this is something that we expect the impact of ONDC. Uh, this is not an official claim at all. Uh, this is something that I as individual uh, is expecting that uh, 30 to 50 million customers expected. 30 to 50 crore customers ONDC go use karenge. They, this is what I feel very strongly about, you know. So, which means that almost everyone in India is going to use ONDC, right? Close to 100 crore orders per month is expected to come on ONDC, right? With 8 crore sellers who are expected to use ONDC, almost all of country, 75 to 80% of country is going to get covered. Uh, today, it's 20%, by the way. So, 80% of India is going to get covered. Uh, you know, the coverage of e-commerce will be there through NDC. The biggest impact, which I feel, is going to be in your neighborhood supply that, you know, which is going to come on NDC, which means local kirana wala, local retailers, local sellers, local uh, individual, you know, people. Um, those are the people who are going to, get, you know, feel the most impact. Uh, and, uh, and uh, you know, uh, which is a beauty because that means the local commerce and local neighborhood eco economy is going to take the next level of, uh, you know, jump. Uh, and uh, and uh, as I said, it's category agnostic. Right? My belief is, is going to transform e-commerce like anything. Uh, that belief is shared by a lot of people. Uh, and uh, this, is, this, is a, this is going to be a long journey. It's not going to be a short journey, which means that there are going to be a certain uh, level of maturity which is going to come in, e in the network and it will take some time, but eventually it's going to be like the most important channel of e-commerce in India. Now, coming to the architecture, right? This is the architecture which, uh, uh, which uh, ONDC has. Primarily, primarily, if you look at a B2C business, a B2C business has B part and C part, right? And what ONDC has beautifully done is actually split that into B part and C part. And this has never happened anywhere in the world, you know. Uh, and, and, and the reason why you could do this, that, you know, let's take the supply on one side and the demand on another side is through an open network. So ONDC is an open network, philosophy-driven network, uh, you know, uh, uh, ecosystem. Uh, it's driven by 13 APIs, you know. It's an API, you know, B and C talk through ONDC APIs. ONDC is not a platform. It is not an application. It is not, it does not store data. You know, state data is stored either on the B side, supply side, or the demand side, which is the consumer side. Right? Uh, uh, ONDC, uh, you know, so, so from that perspective, 
don't confuse that you know this is amazon kind of platform this this is something you know flipkart kind of platform right you as an individual as an entity participate in the network as one of the entities and your role you know can be a seller app or a buyer app right you could be someone who is coming with a supply you know someone like a retailer you know could come coming as a supply or you could be coming as a as, as someone who wants to you know come on the buyer side as a buyer app right uh, so which means that you will have a website you will you will manage customer queries you will manage the transaction flows you will manage refund return and those kind of stuff right so there is a seller app ecosystem and a buyer app ecosystem and you have to you have to choose your role that i want to be on the seller app and a buyer app you can play both roles also that is allowed that is not a that is not a challenge but primarily most of the people have strength either on the supply side or the or the demand side so for example phone pay paytm are coming on the buyer app side right and a lot of lot of uh, you know a lot of pizza chains and restaurants and grocery kirana walas are coming on the seller app side this is how the ecosystem is is there and the beauty of this is if you are a if you are a seller on on the seller app side you will be present on all the buyer apps and every buyer app will have access to all the supply this is the power of open networks uh, that you know uh, is actually actually very very powerful uh, so you you today if you know for, for example we we brought idfc bank right idfc bank could not have thought about coming on a e-commerce but in just one month they are able to get into e-commerce because they don't need to worry about supply supply ki chinta hi nahi karni you know they automatically get all the supplies they don't have to worry about dispatch and those kinds of because if they had to get into that that would have been a challenge right so this is basically is uh, is what the ondc is now just just take you through because i get a lot of these questions that how do i you know what's the process of go live and those kind of stuff this is generally the process that we have seen uh, uh that you know you sign an np agreement ondc you subscribe your domain you know there's id subscriber id on to ondc registry you set up uh, your app on plotch or any other you know platform that you tsp that you might be using then you do quality check of your transactions so you know there's a there's usually a staging environment pre prod environment and prod environment in ondc so the, you have to basically go through these environments uh, there's a demo that you have to give to ondc team and then you eventually go live in if in as part of plot that we have seen is it's a 2 to 3 weeks journey it could be different for you uh, it, you know some people have you know faster some people have a longer journey this is what i we are i'm telling you from a, from our experience uh, in plot now coming to the topic of fashion uh, and uh, i'll i'll give the baton to um, badri here and uh, and uh, request him to take us through the world of fashion how what's happening what we are thinking about you know and see from fashion perspective it is something that i personally is very excited badri so you know tell us about fashion thank you thank you manoj and uh, thank you everyone for all your patience till now so fashion is one of the most awaited categories on on uh, ondc the sheer reason is uh, the sheer reason is roti kapda aur makan humne grocery on kar diya the next obvious bet is fashion now if you see the industry manoj you also need to help me in changing the slide to the next sure 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 i will i will do that you let me know whenever you want to change the slide sure so if you see the industry of fashion it's broadly organized and unorganized part of it so in total we estimated as 100 some 155 us uh, 155 billion us dollar which is massive which is massive if we talk about consumption and if we see how much is digitized it is not even uh, not even 5% so 95% of the fashion consumption that is happening in india thing that is still on digitized so that entire opportunity for all fashion sellers who can 
who can potentially avail this this uh, large market, large consuming market in India is immense, immense. And what a right timing where we're talking the very high rate of internet penetration, the very high rate of smartphone usage, because we know that mobile first is one of the biggest trends of e-commerce that is adopted in our country. And the reason might be probably we could never afford in general a laptop or a PC. We started it with mobile phone, but whatever it is, it's a wonderful opportunity that with very high degree of smartphone and internet penetration, there is an opportunity waiting for all fashion sellers to go online and start selling. ONDC is, a, is an amazing initiative by Government of India where we are trying to bridge this entire gap of undigitized sector with digital buyers and definitely widening the space for all the sellers, fashion sellers, uh, who are uh, already tested digital uh, commerce, widening the visibility and the market for them. So they are no more local. They are no more going to be very, very focused and putting a lot, uh, lot of capital in acquiring a customer. Probably the proposition is going to be very different with ONDC. Okay. Manoj, if you can just go to the next slide. So this is a broad categorization of fashion, which you can see here. As we know, we broadly uh, talk about uh, apparels, footwear, accessories, bags and luggage, and eyewear. So this is, this is entirely fashion uh, portfolio, which we are talking about. As we know, sarees and ethnic wear is one of the largest categories of fashion considering our Indian consumption. So definitely you see a lot of clusters and a uh, uh, lot of markets are already flooded with uh, ethnic wear. So this is the opportunity where the sellers may take an extra, extra step and get the undigitized clusters and undigitized retailers first time to this digital arena. When, when we heard Manoj talking about how it happens, ONDC has actually simplified it. If we see the, the, the very concept of uh, the very concept of unbundling and the second concept of interoperability makes it very easy for, for you know the, the business entities like you where anybody has a digital customer can always be on ONDC network to become a buyer entity. Anybody who is, who is capable of managing catalog, inventory, and sell sellers can always be on ONDC network as a seller entity. Now, if you remember that slide that Manas showed how the network works, network facilitates the dialogue and exchange between the seller entity and the buyer entity. So if you talk about, talk about seller entities, the seller entity with one single registry and one single effort can showcase the catalog across the buyer entities. The biggest opportunity, the biggest opportunity here is no need to invest any more on customer acquisition cost. As we know, customer acquisition cost is the biggest kharcha, is the biggest expense. So no need, to, no need to spend money on the customer acquisition. Now, if you talk about the buyer entity, I'll cover it in detail towards end of the end of the discussion. If you talk about the buyer entity, think of the operational hassle and operational expenses in managing sellers' catalogs inventory, because that will be managed by the seller entities. So network makes it super interoperable where different business entities with a little bit of incremental effort on technology integration can actually come on board on the network and start transacting and, and avail this entire opportunity of selling Pan India and addressing a wider segment, 
we'll also cover later how how you can be benefited being on network from different customer cohorts which are managed by uh, telecommunication which are managed by banking sector but they are not on your on your platform or not availing or not being able to access your catalog so coming back to the fashion categories we can think of ethnic wear where sarees suits kurtis we can think of western wear where t-shirts tops and jeans and uh, and here we are talking about all men's fashion women's fashion and kids fashion so we are talking about the entire fashion as a portfolio so if you see jewelry is also a very very big and hot entity on e-commerce nowadays we are also talking about footwear many brands as we know became very popular in india and uh, could reach a larger audience because the e-commerce penetration uh, brands like puma i must say they they became really big and very popular because e-commerce was there even if we talk about bags and luggage as a category is also pretty popular on e-commerce and when i see these categories on the screen i always see the kind of opportunity we have not only for the branded and large players but also for the small and upcoming players we are here also talking about msm as an industry micro small and medium scale also as an industry so local retailer may it be a singular individual seller may it be a manufacturer or it is a d2c brand or you are an aggregator you import goods or you aggregate in india or you are eminent brand whether at a regional level or pan india level you all are welcome to be to be a partner on the network so if you come as a seller entity with single registry as i said your catalog will be visible to all the bar entities now not only you are talking about uh, saving lot of capital but you are also uh, getting visibility to a wider spectrum of as i said not only very fashion digital marketplace or brand digital buyer but also a banking or a or a fmcg or uh, any telecommunication buyer just for your knowledge very soon you will be you will be seeing uh, airtel kind of player also coming as a buyer entity on the platform so that is the that's, that is that's that's very of, interesting that's very yeah, interesting that's yeah. one of the biggest things going to happen where we are talking about anybody who is using a telephone or, or using a sim card or is a telecommunication customer can actually see your catalog so we are talking about entire india we are not missing then any cohort or any segment of customer so basically uh, any seller sitting in let's say jaipur or for example kurti seller jab sitting yeah. jaipur or sari seller sitting in surat surat yeah uh, today has to go through amazon and other you know uh, yeah. platform now Correct. with a single click they will be available to all the 50 to 100 crore customers which might absolutely. be there, right? absolutely absolutely yeah. absolutely so and the the beauty is manoj only one registration as one entity yeah the seller yeah. doesn't need to sign a different contract with every buyer entity the seller doesn't need to upload his or her catalog in different formats for different buyer entity the network makes it simple you are exactly. on the network the buying entity is on the network you do that handshake only once and you are always related right so if you can move forward so here we are talking about now the e-commerce as an elephant is not restricted here we are not talking about that hey we need to have a large digital uh, large technology team and lot of funds to acquire customer and keep doing marketing here we are talking about it's for everyone now so as manoj said it is a population scale uh, project by the government we always benchmark it against upi how upi has touched every individual across the country it is going to touch every individual across the country may it be a uh, you know not only a seller manufacturer or uh, 
aggregator point of view if you are an entity which the network is still thinking but soon the future is going to be there if you are an entity who can contribute to a specific part of the value chain of fashion for example as we know fashion catalog and content is a big proposition yes yes the fashion user is i always believe they are the most conscious user so they need to see the the content they need to read the content they need to see all the aspects of the garment or the accessory before they make a purchase decision so the opportunity here is anybody who is good in content anybody who can contribute to digitization of catalog they are also going to be welcome on the network to help the entire value chain go digital no i that's very interesting because i'm already getting a lot of pings <coughs> sorry <laughs> from a lot of people who saying how as a photo photo shoot you know agency as a catalog you see how can i you know participate in ondc and i said with fashion yeah. <laughs> and this yeah. is where the old mecca is for you so yeah, yeah very interesting so for mr ashank agarwal i think uh, sir i would request you to wait for a while once we finish the presentation we'll take up all the questions and as i said we'll definitely put our best to enrich you with information if anything left from our side or from your mind you can always email us the email id will also be shown at the end of the presentation so think of a situation coming back to the deck think of a situation where we are talking about a local tailor and of course the local tailor has been giving service to the to the local audience right now the local tailor's visibility and the proposition of that service is also going to be widened uh, the moment they come on the network think of the grassroots level of micro and small industry where we are talking about artisans and craftsmen you know they have always been exploited or uh, uh, you know or used by the the middlemen the aggregators traditional aggregators i'm talking about where they have they have been uh, pushed to uh, uh, definitely to labor and not get the right value proposition or value for the for their output opportunities here we would like to welcome all the innovators and the new age uh, organizations to join hands with ondc in getting the grassroots to the digital entity now one big layer which we can save and the and the profitability of the weaver can be increased is when the weaver can be actually connected to the network because then we are not talking about a varied uh, gross margin proposition or a commission proposition individually for all individual uh, platforms we are talking about a very very uh, very very friendly proposition on the network we will also cover the commercials going ahead so it will give you clarity how network has an advantage over a platform while i say that i also say network is never a competition with a platform so for everyone to understand in a very very simple language network is the operating system and all the existing players made with the large ones or the budding ones all the existing players are applications on that operating system in other words network is the highway and everyone is a vehicle someone is a small car or someone is a big lorry so that is where we see the network and network no, good analogies uh, badri yeah, definitely yeah. helps understand yes yeah thank you manoj network definitely gives a level playing field to all the players on it now it is every individual players uh, capability and uh, and effort that makes them popular on the network we are also thinking about uh, how it would be when the fashion designers and met to order will be enabled on the network because as we know fashion designers and that entire catalog has always been restricted to urban population so the future is that is also going to see a very very wide visibility on the network so it is for everyone gentlemen and ladies no very oh, interesting my... i think but one of the things which i actually want to see is handloom weavers uh, yeah. like pochampalli weavers and all those things you know they do such a great work 
and today they are not able to present themselves in front of the country. I think with this network, they can present themselves to the whole, you know. So true. Yeah. So true. And we also see equal amount of excitement in ministries and government departments to work for this uh, micro and small industry and the artisans, the grassroots uh, uh, craftsmen. How we can bring them onto the network, how they can give, uh, they can be given a wider visibility and a better value proposition. So we see equal excitement from government also. Great, great, great to hear that. So if you can move forward, yeah. yeah. So as we all know, fashion has its own nuances. Every category is very, very unique. So if you talk about fashion and if you are a fashion seller, so there, so here is my two cents where I'm talking about, you know, we need to understand the, the basics of how fashion works. Fashion is all about right content and right fit. Because we all know the, the very big uh, challenge in e-commerce with respect to fashion is the high percentage of returns. So we all need to be very, very sensitive that how we control that return and in a way, saving on opportunities, right? So the very basic thing is uh, network is enabling a taxonomy of the fashion category, which when you will connect with the network as an entity, as a network participant. You will consume that API and you will figure out that uh, the entire taxonomy structure and attributes have been populated there so that a standard and a rich content can be flown from the seller entity to the buyer entity for the buyers to be shown. So that is the premise where we would expect that our seller network participants with their own inventory and any other sellers that they're bringing on board with their inventory, make that justice of populating it on a right taxonomical structure so that the buyers on the buyer app or the customers on the buyer app can find it feasible and they can use all the filters, they can use the right sorting and conversion ultimately will come to you. This, Very important, I think, uh, because attributes, right attributes, flowing to the customer, you know, making uh, him or her to choose, uh, helping her him or her to choose the right product is very critical. And one of the things that we have seen in e-commerce is that if you don't crack it early, it just uh, goes haywire. So I think absolutely. that's a good thing. Yeah, that's a very absolutely. good thing. The second most important thing which, which has to be focused in my point of view is the side chat. You know, any apparel or footwear without a side chat is uh, very difficult to sell. And even if we get a conversion, there is a high chance of return. So I would say side chat is very, very important. And as we know, with Indian body type, we do not have a standard side chat. We always end up benchmarking it with UK or US side chat. But for your brand and for your aggregation of merchandise, I would definitely appeal that when you list products, whether on the network or any platform, definitely give due respect to the side chat. So that is something where customer trust is built first, then she or he purchases it. It should not happen that when it reaches her or him, it doesn't fit, which happens, which happens. So it's yeah. definitely the one of the biggest uh, elements in fashion that was in comes into play and there are there are many other things there are many other things uh manoj do you have a slide more on fashion dynamics uh the next is the the commission okay, okay. Yeah. so if you can come back to the previous slide yeah. yeah so i would also highlight certain things you know uh network is going to enable an uh, interesting uh interesting uh, uh SOP and use case of replacement for fashion where, and it would be similar for all categories when replacement will be uh, switched on on the network, it will be applicable for all relevant categories. So in fashion, we know that people are uh, habituated in shopping uh, to their own size and often they may skip also side charts and reading about the fit, the content written around fit. Uh, so there is a chance of replacement. 
and definitely here it's an opportunity for the sellers and the seller entities to save that sales opportunity and also save the customer interest so replacement is something going to be enabled uh, soon on ondc network the other important factor is we are also working on how a standardized product like a like a watch or a pair of spectacles or a piece of jewelry which is sold by multiple sellers or a branded article which are sold by multiple sellers how it can be clubbed together by seller seller identities can be clubbed together to a single product so that for a customer on a particular buyer app it is a better experience to see that product and see all the sellers for that product and take an informed decision whether on seller rating whether on pricing whether on the offer and discount so that is also we are working on it we are also working on uh, for you it's uh, it may sound new we are also working on how multiple categories can be actually checked out in a single card so in ondc we take this popular example of when you are moving your house from location a to location b or city a to city b you are uh, looking for suitcases to pack you are looking for uh, a movers and packers to take your goods you are also looking for uh, a train or a flight ticket to book so that you can go to your new or new destination you are also looking for certain installation and non installation service so ondc wishfully and with confidence is working towards putting all this together all these items like products and services together into a single card imagine the kind of innovation that we are expecting to happen on network is never done on any part of the world so i am so fashion also in that uh, context is going to have many new innovations we are working towards virtual trial a virtual fit room so that our sellers are enabled with a very sure shot conversion where the return and cancellations can be controlled no very interesting very interesting i think yes uh, yes all these are going to be you know uh, something that fashion business either on the seller side or buyer side are looking forward to yes one of the thing can go forward i will yes yeah. so for all the attendants here i mean uh, if you want to be a seller entity or a buyer entity so this is something uh, very critical the commercials so if you see there are uh, four a uh, broad stakeholders in a transaction that happens on no indice network the first stakeholder is the buyer app or the buyer entity who brings the customer and creates an order for the seller app or the seller entity now the second one is the seller entity who fulfills that order the third one can be the logistics partner who takes the order and delivers and the fourth one is of course the network itself ondc right now if we talk about ondc let me start from the last one which is ondc ondc is a section 8 company and uh, we are well funded for uh, next couple of uh, years not months and we don't need to book profit so ondc soon is not going to charge anything from any seller or a buyer ondc but in future there might be a situation because we have to also run the organization so there will be a situation where there might be a might be a charge on transaction and which will be minuscule of thing which will never pinch anyone because it will we, be less than 1% or close to 1% right it yeah, won't even, be like even, uh... even less manoj even okay. less so, because we expect billions of transactions happening on across yeah, yeah yeah so so a very very small minuscule uh, amount which can help the organization run itself now the 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 third entity who is the second from the bottom wire uh, the logistics partner now the logistics partner can 
be in two ways, two different ways. Either the seller entity chooses to deliver itself or can opt for our logistics partner. So if the seller entity may choose to deliver itself or choose in either of the contexts, ONDC network allows to put a logistics charge on the order. Or if the margin is, or the product has higher margin or the decent margin, then probably that logistic charge may be forfeited, which would add to the conversion of that product. So in any case, there is, of course, a monetary factor involved in with the logistics partner. And that has to be borne and paid by either the buyer or the customer or the seller entity. Now the, now the third entity here is the seller entity who brings the catalog, who brings more sellers and who manages the inventory and order. So the seller entity here is not acquiring the customer. So the customer acquisition is happening by the buyer entity. And the fee that the percentage that you see on the, on the slide is actually the buyer finder fee which is paid by the seller entity to the buyer entity because the buyer entity got a buyer and an order. So with ONDC, while things are absolutely decentralized and we call it unbundled, then the seller entity is only focused on the catalog inventory and uh, uh, order management side. The logistics entity is focused on delivering the order and the buyer entity is focused on bringing the customer. So every entity is now not managing the entire value chain and hence saving a lot of operational expenses. So if you see, this is unimaginable where a seller entity in a platform concept, where a seller entity only pays 3% to the buyer entity for food and beverage. So this is amazing. Uh, I know uh, uh, these kind of like, for example, you know, for fashion, hmm. I know that sellers pay between thirty-five to forty percent to. Oh platforms. yes, oh so yes. This this amazingly, you know, bleeds them and they're not profitable and those kind of stuff. With eight percent, I'm quite sure you know, lot of lot of actually for a lot of small sellers will start to join. So we see this value going down and small sellers coming online, right? And we see this value going up and the customer is getting more benefit. So what we currently have capped, so this is a, a suggestion and a capping from ONDC side that anybody on the network, the buyer entity cannot charge more than 3% for food and beverages. For grocery, it is 5%. And for fashion, which will be declared soon as the category is getting enabled, it is roughly within 8%. Now, when I'm talking about these numbers, I'm talking about the upper cap of it. There are buyer entities who would be charging even lesser so that they would like all your catalog to be visible on their platform. Yeah. And they can do that because they are not managing the sellers or the catalog or the inventory. Yeah. And they already have a lot of consumers, right? For example, I can think of Airtel, right? The for them, you know, they already have consumers. They don't have to pay that consumer acquisition cost. So they can reduce it to 4% or 8%. And, you know, yes, yes. Yeah. So there will be a very, very fair game on the network where the value will go up and down to, uh, it will be passed to the customer and the sellers ultimately. Great, Badri. This is very helpful. Uh, I think with this, uh, uh, people can imagine what, fashion is going to be like on ONDC, how it can impact them. You know, you have, you have given like great insights, you know, into fashion as a category, whether it comes to, you know, uh, participation by local retailers, by handloom weavers, how the category taxonomy attributes, you know, are being thought in ONDC and getting standardized, very, very important. You know, uh, how, you know, fashion as a category is one of the biggest categories in, in e-commerce, right? Yes. And, uh, and uh, you know, everyone is looking for it. Uh, I, ca I can see, you know, people, so many people participating now, you know, in DC, uh, because just so many people are there, right? So Absolutely. And for everybody's confidence, 
integration with ondc network is very very simple and technology service providers like plotch which is manos entity they have made it even simpler because they are already already integrated with the platform or already integrated with the network and any seller entity or buyer entity wants to be integrated through them it is a quicker task and faster effort now or low effort and quicker turnaround so and also adding to uh, uh, adding to more uh, in terms of clarity i would say the steps are very clear and before that we must understand network only talks to the network participants which is the buyer network participant seller network participant and the logistics network participant now the buyer network participants talk to the buyer and seller network participants talk to the sellers or the producers so ondc as a network doesn't come in contact with either the customer or the actual producer who is not linked with ondc as a network so ondc expects that this will enable more freedom and more innovation as the entities are unbundled now where innovations will come and contribute towards uh strengthening the buyer platforms seller uh, platforms and logistics platforms currently if we talk about and as we talk uh, only prepaid options are there only available we see a future very soon where the cash on delivery is also going to be enabled and the modalities are being uh, being uh, explored now the seller apps or the seller entities as i said they are only going to take care of the order management or order fulfillment that includes definitely dispatch and delivery my two cents here will be definitely while you guys come on board and uh, play as a seller entity while dispatching because you know entire intangibility of e-commerce suddenly becomes tangible when the packet reaches my home so definitely we need to send right product right fit and in an in a in a good packaging condition and on a faster mode that will that will definitely help higher conversion and growth for you being a seller entity if you at all planning to be a seller entity i think the the, the customer experience is very critical right so True. just this uh, uh you know because one of the things which a uh, lot of people have question is that uh, whether uh, the network can give the customer trust that they can buy on the network and uh, the order will get fulfilled or if the order is not fulfilled the refunds can uh, refunds will happen or not i think uh, ondc as a i think from policy perspective from, from what i know has you know is very very centered around customer experience and seller yeah. experience and making That's sure there's trust in the network mm. uh, but if the trust is there uh, the scale will come is like written on the wall in some ways so 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 uh, I, i think uh, uh, one thing which you know to the network uh, that you know it's got beta launch which has happened in bangalore yeah you know experience has been that uh, you know uh, you know uh, the 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 ref the refund part the payout to sellers uh, you know making sure the invoices are going from one end to another end that that curation that maturity of the network i can i can feel it now you know uh, that it's there and uh, you know i'm much more confident um, you know uh, you know that you know now that you're right it's it's very powerful manoj and uh, for everybody's knowledge a very interesting uh, thing also now as we are talking people in bangalore are actually ordering food on paytm app so ondc envisions this that your favorite app or your favorite website is going to serve to all your needs of products and services now the example that i gave while people are planning to shift their home from city a to city b it can actually be possible on a single app and which is your favorite app you don't need to change your app 
or you don't need to change your website, your favorite yeah. website. Yeah. The moment they are on the ONDC network, every category of product and every category of services are available with them. So that is number one. Number two, I was saying that ONDC is going to enable many uh, functional uh, contracts, digital contracts through API, where issue and grievances are going to be managed uh, on an automated fashion because there is trade, there will be issues. So, and ONDC is not in a business to influence the ongoing trade or uh, influence negatively the ongoing trade. If a bad entity is good in customer acquisition and managing a right experience, ONDC only enables it with more categories of products and services to suffice. If a seller entity intends or manages products, inventory, pricing, and more number of sellers well, ONDC intends to give wider visibility to the seller entity. So ONDC only keeps enabling what you do your best. Now there, the responsibility actually comes on the buyer entities and seller entities to have healthy communication. And of course, ONDC is going to enable that through, through technology. Uh, Manos, for all everybody's information, we are going to come up with IGM, which is Issue yeah. and Grievance Management API contract, very soon where, uh, where the issue raised at a buyer app flows automatically through the seller entity. And uh, there are many features in that where they are bound to resolve it within the given turnaround time so that the customer, customer experience can be taken care of. Ultimately, if the customer experience is taken care of, the customer will come back and buy again. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So this and API, I think, uh, IGM API is very interesting because it's also it very scalable. Because yes. then uh, at billions of transactions, you know, it can't really do without a scalable technology. And oh, yes. Technology. And to name a few, we are also working very aggressively on, uh, on uh, digital inclusions like... Uh, how the reconciliation can be automated and, and quicker and easier because a seller entity is going to sell on hundreds of buyer entity. So definitely there would be many ledgers. There would be many transactional records. Yeah. So you definitely need some powerful tool to reconcile them efficiently so that it resolves or it addresses your purpose. The other one is going to be very interesting where we're talking about catalog as a service. So the future is you don't need to do that entire effort on photo shoot and content creation and everything. Probably for all standardized products, it will be available on the network. You just need to latch into the service and you go live with your standardized products in a moment. This this is going to be very powerful for Kirana Wala yeah. because they have grocery as a standardized Anybody who sells product. a standardized product. Yeah. For example, Ashirbad Atta or a bunch of banana, the content is never going to change, right? So very interesting uh, uh, insights. Uh, I, I'm, I'm just skipping few slides because I think we sort of yeah, sure. running at the end of the time. Sure. Uh, but I think we should, we should take the questions. Yeah, I think we should uh, take some questions. So uh, this is standard invoicing what Manoj is trying to show you, how it yeah. happens in normal accounting and uh, yeah. your way. So the buyer app collects money on behalf of the seller entity and uh, it keeps the buyer finding fee, adds a tax to it, the service tax to it, deducts the TDS and pays. And yeah. when that happens, that happens post the return window. If you have put your products, if you're a seller entity and put seven days as a return window, it happens on the eighth or 10th day. The remittance will keep coming for all the previous historic orders on, on 8th or 10th day, if the return window is seven days for you. Yeah, so I think now let's take some questions. Uh, I have a few questions here. Sure. Uh, one question is, that, is ONDC also for B2B? Uh, oh, yes. So this is one of our favorite uh, questions that we would love to answer. ONDC is for all kinds of trade that we can think of. Anything that is tradable on e-commerce, 
ONDC is going to enable that. So ONDC is definitely for B2B. Now, currently you see the retail part of it. It's definitely going to be B2B and we are going to start uh, probably agriculture as the first entity in B2B. Wow, that's, that's very interesting. Very yeah. Interesting. So Guru Prashad is asking, I'm into logistics business. How can I get benefit from ONDC? So if you're into logistics business, you can definitely try to become a logistics network partner so that if, for example, if you deliver around Lucknow, so any, any buyer, any seller entity who wants to deliver the goods around Lucknow can discover you on the network and take, and you can get benefit out of it. So you should, uh, uh, so you should actually uh, try to become a logistics partner in, in network partner. Yeah. People yeah. is asking, uh, hi, Badri, thanks for sharing your expert insights regarding buyer entities. May I request you to throw some lights on a seller entity side, especially fashion. Yes, people. So, so uh, most part of our uh, later discussion happened around, around seller entity. So a seller entity, as we said, anybody who is a manufacturer, aggregator, or a brand, or a D2C brand, uh, or, a, or you know, bigger fashion houses, or a designer, they all can become seller entity. So becoming a seller entity and seller has a very thin line of technological integration. So if you are a seller entity, you have your products and inventory, you just need to consume the APIs or adapters enabled by ONDC network and list your product, which can be shown to all the bad entities who has enabled your category. So Manoj's company also, I mean, there are a couple of uh, technology service providers who also help seller entities go faster with ONDC. So, if you want to know in detail, you can always write on this email and uh, I would request Manas to help you out. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I think, see, one of the things which uh, I think ONDC is, uh, is looking at is that everyone can participate. So technology hindrances, the technology bottleneck shouldn't be there. And, uh, and uh, you know, so getting on board to, uh, to TSPs like us is, uh, is the uh, you know, easiest and the fastest way. Uh, yeah. and uh, you know so th those options are there uh, one of the questions I think uh, 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 Rashang asked what is the name of the API again please yeah. so, so uh, API uh, so there is a name to the protocol the protocol name is Beckon protocol that ONDC follows to enable the network and the structure and for API, you can actually go to uh, ondc.org. That's our website, ondc.org. And you can find the GitHub link and you can check the entire API uh, document there. So Guru Prashad's yeah. uh, answer is already done. Sujish uh, Nair is asking for a small local Kirana or retailer or tailor. What is the benefit? You know, a small local Kirana or any small player can actually tag along to a seller entity to showcase their product or services on the network. And if a local Kirana, which can actually uh, deliver or address the local demand digitally, that can also go to any seller entity. And where you can find the list of seller entities, you just need to go to ondc.org. You have a tab called network participants. You have email ID and names. Just put your query and they will help you. Somebody is asking, where do we get the registry ourselves as seller and what documents are required? So Monica is typing an answer. Thank you, Monica. Please help them. How will ONDC ensure quick complaint resolution? Is the turnaround time stipulated or suggested? to buyer and seller apps? Yes, Parul, it's a very, very valid question. So as I said, IGM is the solution for uh, complaint resolution, where on the buyer app, the moment any complaint or ticket is raised, IGM facilitates that delivery to the seller app who has fulfilled it. And it also defines a turnaround time to, to, close, the, to close it. 
and if it doesn't get closed there are even legal escalations and stuff which is ondc soon going to bring into effect so guru prasad the email id is already there please uh, come through uh, that email id we can take it forward how smooth will be onboarding to for naive people like msme and tribal craftsmen on ondc please that is a blocker today for them to go digital will be like setting up a gold business profile today well ashank uh, yes definitely it is uh, difficult for the naive community so there we need hand holding of the experienced seller entities who has right intention and right capability to get them on board it is uh, it is not right or justified to think that a tribal craftsman will come directly on ondc network it has to happen through a seller network participant so i would urge if anybody has a capability where they can address and take the the local goods or crafts uh, and do a consolidation they should either come directly on the ondc network and showcase those products or they can get in touch with any seller network participant and showcase these products as an aggregator kartik is asking for fashion category what all buyer applications are participating so kartik for your information every buyer application may be so currently we have paytm uh, crafts villa spice mon spice money my store, idfc yeah idfc so they are all interested to show fashion as a category on their buyer application yeah. the future is kotak mahindra bank phone pay and uh, as i said airtel and there are many more so you can check ondc.org and network participants tab i believe they all will be equally excited to showcase fashion because fashion not only gives them an additional revenue source but will also give them a certain set of customers which would which would help their platform to go ahead thanks parul i think that would help many your report kartik is also asking for fashion category what all buyer applications i had that we answered we have answered yes uh, i think suji so saying for local retailer getting cash up front is important right now ntc provides payment after a certain period with retailers oh, yes you right uh, if so then the route is through uh, a seller network participant somebody has to aggregate that some has to aggregate that uh, and address this upfront cash payment yeah so i think i think the the, the settlement period today is r plus 2 which yeah. is the return period expiry plus 2 days uh, and uh, most of the delivery happens in local kiranas in the in the same day so yeah. so uh, and uh, you can say that it's not returnable so within 2 days to 3 days you should be able to get money from ondc and manoj it's absolutely between the chemistry of buyer entity and the seller entity yeah so if a seller entity has high rated sellers and critical to a buyer entity buyer entity can even do payments before return window so Got that it. is also possible yeah Got it, yeah yeah makes sense yeah guru prasad has raised hand can we hear his voice or uh, he should write guru prasad can you can you just type so that it's 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 the process that we follow doesn't get hampered meanwhile sujit is asking i understand from news article wendy has received more than 250 crore from investors how is the investment being utilized for the platform so this 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 is a very very <laughs> internal and uh, okay but however i'll tell you so the investment is uh, is being utilized in two strong ways which is a enabling the protocol because there is a very strong technology development happening around protocol and we are also creating trying to create certain fund for the undigitized sector how that sector can be can be helped so as it is uh, an entity empowered by government of india so definitely there are there are absolute strict audit mechanism and uh, and uh, checks and balances in place so stay assured as i said we have funds for a couple of years to improve and continue so this will definitely be best utilized
and it's actually being utilized in strengthening the network and the participants uh, participants dynamics okay thank you good pressure great uh, mm -hmm. great uh, badri i think you have been uh, very kind to answer all these questions in a very patient way so thank you for that uh, and uh, you know again i want to thank you for coming here uh, it's, it is uh, you know a lot of pleasure actually uh, to host you and uh, you know we look forward to fashion fashion as a, you know as we know is a, the biggest category it touches a lot of people so we look forward to it uh, we hope to hear a, a, a lot from you in future so uh, we'll you know keep our eyes and ears open for for fashion and uh, you know thank you again from from the community here um, uh, and thank you everyone thank for you. participating yeah uh, and uh, you know we'll we'll soon come back uh, you know uh, do more webinars on ondc and keep you updated uh, anything you want to say uh, badri you know, to the audience so i would say this is a once in a lifetime opportunity uh, we are the team here in ondc is putting a lot of efforts every moment how we can scale it up uh, to the vision and definitely the biggest play that is going to happen apart from our efforts and stronger protocol is uh, is from you gentlemen and ladies where we are talking about very active seller network participation logistics network participation buyer network participation and technology service provider participation will scale it up faster and as we have discussed we see a bigger value being being given to to the suppliers to the sellers to the manufacturers to the grassroots craftsmen and to the customer so india is uh, ready to gear up uh, with ondc for the next phase of e-commerce i wish all the best to all of you and uh, thanks for having me here uh, good luck thank you badri yeah thank, thank you. you everyone have a nice day bye bye thank you thank you very much bye